Halloween is over, but a holiday for the dead continues this Saturday in Evansville. Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead festivities, will be held at the Evansville Vandenberg Public Library West Branch. And while it may sound morbid to some, it's actually a celebration that links the living to loved ones who have passed on. Joining me now to talk about this is Maricela de la Parra of the EVPL. Carla Razor is all dressed up in the beautiful garb there, uh, celebrating, of course, Dia de los Muertos. And you are from Signature School and Sarah Spellbring from Montessori Academy. Yes. Thank you all for being here. Thank you. I love Dia de los Muertos. I think a lot of people have a misunderstanding of what it is. Yes. First off, explain to folks what this mm -hmm. is. Yeah, Dia de los Muertos is not by any means related to Hall Halloween or, you know, it's not a scary Halloween. Uh, it's, it's a very loving celebration. Uh, it's a celebration where you remember your loved ones that have passed. It's a celebration where you're celebrating their love. Absolutely. Their, their life. And I know that um, a lot of people may know of De, La, De Los Muertos from the movie Coco, the animated yeah. movie from Disney, and that is really where I first really understood what you're talking about, how you do celebrate those. And I love the idea of leading your loved ones back to you now yeah. to have a day where you can kind of reconnect exactly. with them. Explain to me how that happens and what you're going to be having at this celebration uh, that's coming up on Saturday. Is it uh, November it's this 4th? Coming it's this Saturday. coming Saturday, yeah. right. From 2 to 6 at EVPL West. Mm -hmm. That's right on Franklin. Uh, you know, th this is a very ancient celebration. It mm -hmm. you know, started way back with the Aztecs thousands of years ago, and then uh, the Spaniards came. Uh, and it's really a coming together of two very different cultures. And from that, Dia de los Muertos was born. Uh, and we celebrated big time at EVPL West. And, you know, it's Sarah and Eric started this about seven, eight years ago. Yes, technically eight years ago. This will be our mm -hmm. seventh year that we have celebrated it the event. It used to be at Angel Bounds. Uh, it, it's very early origins. We're just the our school's elementary class oh, walking right. over yeah. to Washington Square Mall. And um, we were uh, graciously uh, welcomed by Abraham Brown mm -hmm. at La, mm -hmm. where La Camperana was at mm -hmm. the time. Mm -hmm. And then we went to Westman Woods. Mm -hmm. And then two years at Angel Mounds, one year at Henderson, and then this will be our third year now at EVPL West. And what can people expect when they come out? Um, it's very colorful. It uh, there, there's colors everywhere. Um, we will have a lot of tents. We have a lot of activities, free activities for, for the families. And it is a free event. It's a it is a free event. We will have food trucks there. They okay. will be selling okay. food. But okay. otherwise, and you don't have to have a library membership either. Yeah. The heart of the event, while we have a lot of activities and dancing going on outside, and we have a parade at the Inn and Art Parade, the heart and soul of the event, we believe, is the ofrenda room in the oh, auditorium yeah. in the library. Explain and what that is. So, What's ofrenda? Okay. Ofrenda is a temporary altar uh, that is dedicated to a loved one that has passed. And uh, we're actually, we invited community members to come in and build their own. If you still, you know, we still have a little bit of room for you. If you want to come uh, celebrate your loved one's life, uh, email us mm -hmm. at dayofthedead at edpl, uh, dot org and you can come build your ofrenda. Ofrenda, uh, you know, we have things that are uh, always expected in ofrenda. Of course, the picture of your mm -hmm. loved one, mm -hmm. front and center. Mm -hmm. And then uh, things that represent the elements of life, fire, water, earth, a wind. And uh, lots of other stuff that you you can find, like a, a, a little sugar skull maybe with the name of your loved one on the forehead, uh, some salt, uh, some copal. That's a, a wonderful incense from uh, the resin of the copal tree. But you'll uh, see all that, all, uh, all different kinds that. of things there in, in, in the Afrenda room. But there's also going to be art, there's culture, oh, there's yeah. music, there's food, there's this beautiful dress that is just so lovely. Can you just come like everyday clothing or? Do you need to go oh, you, like well, this? Well, I will be there. Every, I will be there pretty much like this. But there are yeah. uh, many uh, people who... So Carla is dressed up like La Catrine, which the... Um, La Catrina, 
right. La, uh, El Catrine is the male version. Mm -hmm. um, and there is, it's a, it's a relatively new addition to Day of the Dead in, in the whole history. Mm -hmm. um, but it's been around since about 1950s, 1960s. Yeah. Uh, okay. And so there are many people who love to, uh, Carla always dresses up so beautifully. And, um, it, uh, and, and this is what she had could do after school. <laughs> so okay. she will be even more fabulous on Saturday. So you'll see a lot of this this yes. Saturday at EVPL West. That's on West Franklin Street right there where the fall And we will have face on. painting there too. So if you can't paint your, like I could never paint my face like Carla can, but we okay. have a free face painting there. Great. Um, and they will be um, perfect in the traditional. Yeah, it's it's the library. Paint. Everything is always free because there it's go. the library. Okay. You don't need a card. Just come and visit us and have a lot of fun. Okay. And we'll have more information at our website, tristatehomepage.com. It's this Saturday from 2 to 6 at uh, EVPL West. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for having me. And Thank have you. a great Dia de los Muertos. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you all for being here.